Chapter Seven. Hazards to Computers. You must have heard of the term virus. In human beings, viruses cause many diseases. Viruses are there in the case of computers too. They are different from those which attack humans. What is computer virus? Computer viruses are small software programs that are designed to spread from one computer to another and to interfere with computer operation. By definition, a virus program is able to replicate itself. This means that the virus multiplies on a computer by making copies of itself. How it spreads? Computer viruses are often spread by attachments in email messages or instant messaging messages. That is why it is essential that you never open email attachments unless you know who it is from and you are expecting it. Viruses can be spread as attachments of funny images, greeting cards, or audio and video files. Computer viruses also spread through downloads from the internet. They can be hidden in illicit software or other files or programs you might download. Impact of virus on computers. A computer virus might corrupt or delete data on your computer. It can use your email program to spread itself to other computers or even erase everything on your hard disk. Viruses commonly have the following effects on computers: destruction, theft of data, and malicious access to the computer resources. Computers become slow while working. Unusual messages are displayed. It hangs the system frequently, deletes and damages the files in the system, prevents software to run. Types of computer viruses: boot sector virus, a virus that affects the boot sector area of hard disk. This virus is normally spread by floppy disks. It becomes active at the time of booting the system. Macro virus. Macroviruses are viruses that use another application's macro programming language to distribute themselves. They infect documents such as MS Word or MS Excel and are typically spread to other similar documents. Memory resident viruses. Memory resident viruses reside in a computer's volatile memory (RAM). They are initiated from a virus which runs on the computer. And they stay in memory after its initiating program closes. Trojan horse. A Trojan horse program has the appearance of having a useful and desired function. It neither replicates nor copies itself. It can spread only when it is copied to another system. The malicious functionality of a Trojan horse may be anything undesirable for a computer user, including data destruction. Or comprising a system by providing a means for another computer to gain access. Worms. A worm is a malicious program that duplicates itself. They fill up the disk space and make your computer slow. Email viruses. These viruses are spread through email attachments. Attachments can have funny images, greeting cards, or audio and video files. Logic bombs, time bombs. These viruses are programmed to initiate at a specific date or when a specific event occurs. Some examples are a virus which deletes your photos on Halloween, or a virus which deletes a database table if a certain employee gets fired. Spyware. It is a software when installed on computer, collects various personal information about the users. Without their knowledge, such as email addresses, passwords, net banking, and even credit card numbers, and transmit the information to someone else. Prevention against viruses. To prevent virus attack, one should follow the few tips. Always scan the pen drive before copying files. Don't install pirated software. Take backup of the important data every day, every week. Don't open any unknown email attachments. Scan your computer on specific intervals.
protection against viruses. To help avoid computer viruses, it's essential that you keep your computer updated with antivirus tools, stay informed about recent threats. Once a virus is on your computer, it is important to remove it and prevent further infection. What is antivirus? Antivirus software is a computer program that detects, prevents and takes action to disarm or remove viruses and worms. You can help protect your computer against viruses by using antivirus software. Some of the popular antivirus softwares are Norton Antivirus, AVG Antivirus, Quick Heal Antivirus. Steps to scan the computer using an antivirus. Step 1. Open the antivirus. Step 2. Click Scan. A pop-up appears. Select the desired option. Here we have chosen Full System Scan. Step 3. Full System Scanning will start. Depending on the size of your hard drive and the speed of your computer, this may take from several minutes to several hours to scan your system. You can continue using the system while the virus check is running, though you will notice a decrease in performance. Step 4. You will be notified if any viruses have been found and have the option to clean the virus. Step 5. After the scanning completes, it shows summary of viruses scanned. Steps to scan an individual file. Step 1. Locate the file. Step 2. Right-click on the file and select Scan for viruses. Step 3. Depending on the size of your file and the speed of your computer, it may take several minutes to scan the file. You can continue using the system while the virus check is running. Step 4. You will be notified if any viruses have been found and have the option to clean them. Updating the antivirus. To get rid of the latest viruses, update your antivirus software frequently. Viruses change on a daily basis and require the appropriate tools to detect them on a computer system. Access the settings menu of your installed antivirus program and set up an automatic scanning schedule. Choose a daily or weekly scan for a computer that has multiple users and frequently visits unfamiliar websites. Install only one antivirus program because more than one can cause them to clash with each other. Let's summarize. A virus program is able to replicate itself and is harmful for the computer. A computer virus has many adverse effects on the system. Computer becoming very slow is one of them. There are various types of viruses. Computer can be protected against viruses by using antivirus software. Antivirus software should be updated frequently. Antiviruses scan the whole computer system, just a file and also the external devices. Antiviruses detect and help delete the viruses.